Hey guys, welcome to my testing room in Rolling Line. Now I enjoy this game, and well, this is the table I mess around with, just trying to learn it a little bit. The problem is this game doesn't have keybinding. Now, originally this was a VR game, and so at some point, you know, in the not too distant uh, past, the uh, distant past, whatever, the dev added in desktop uh, mode, which is great. So I have, I've played it in uh, VR and I, I enjoy it in desktop mode. The problem is, as I say, it doesn't have the uh, keyboard. Now I'm a left hand gamer, that means I, le I hold my mouse with the left hand, I use the keys with the right hand. And see, pressing WSAD is difficult because it means I have to pull my right arm all the way over or move the whole keyboard across. And so what if there was a way to actually re keep we keybind this game and any other game you wanted. Well, there is. Now, it's called Auto Hotkey. Now, in, in, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it and write a very simple little script using it to actually uh, change your key bindings. If I press here, if I press on there, now if I press my arrow keys, my arrow keys are working, yes, I don't have to move my arm over, it doesn't hurt anymore. It's it's great, I love it. So, should we actually get on and actually uh, find out how to install this and actually how to do it? Let's do that. So, how do we install AutoHotKey? Well, it's very simple. Head to the website, autohotkey.com. Here you're gonna fear, see a few links, there's documentation, about the uh, project and uh, down his forums and obviously here's the download link so we click on the download link uh, let's go for the current version save and I'm gonna go into my downloads and I'm using Firefox so I click on the little arrow now you can either click on here, which takes the folder, or you can click on here, the actual app, which will open it directly. So, I right, yes, lots of so's. It's what Express Installation wants to install it on C drive. Now, I don't want to install it there, so I'm going to go custom. Uh, 64 bit seems good to me. I'm going to. Right, you can actually browse it if you w wish to, but all I'm going to do, because I want to install it on my D drive, is change that to D. So it's D colon backslash program files auto hotkey. As I say, you can actually do this anyway. So I'd go to there and then you go to program files. But I'm betting if I click OK, yeah, it gets rid of it, doesn't it? So let's uh, auto hot. There you go. So it's now D program files auto hotkey. Create a shortcut in the start menu. You can do that. I don't mind. Add run with UE access to contest menu. Yes, I'd like to do that. This option requires installing hotkey as a subdirectory of program file. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. I can't do that then. Fair enough. Because, so, I mean, it's installing in the wrong folder, that's why. Installation complete. So, let's go and have a look. This is my uh, D drive, program files, and auto hotkey. There it is. Very, very simple. Now, you get back to this by simply clicking the installer again. So, the next thing we want to do is actually start creating our configs. Now, for that, you can install you can install the configs any way you want, um, but I'm going to put them in C drive and in tweaks. Now you can see I've got two here, but these are different programs. Actually, the taskbar X is the centered here, the program which makes everything centered. T clock is a nice little clock, different clock you've got. But we're not going to concentrate on those today. If you want a video on how to install those, let me know and I'll do one. We're going to create a new folder. We're going to call it Auto Hotkey. And now we are going to create a new file. Uh, well, we're going to create a new hot Auto Hotkey script. 
So it's called AHK, just like that side. And we're going to call it Keys. Game Keys? Maybe Game Keys. Let's call it Game Keys. Now we're going to right click it, going to go Edit Script, which will open Notepad. Now in older versions, I didn't know we used to see this stuff in the older versions, but it doesn't seem to be necessary, but we'll leave it in there. So we press Enter a couple times to get down a few lines. And now, the syntax is quite simple. Key you want to press, colon, colon, then the key you want it to be. So I want to do my up key. And so I should type up, colon, colon. So to get a colon is the, is the shift and it's the two little dots you see on your key. We're quite near to the enter. And I want it to become the W. So that's it. Press enter. Now I want to do the down key. Mm. So that's going to become S. Press enter. Left. Once again, it's going to be the A. And right. Ooh, I could... It will tell you if you do this wrong, by the way. It will say a syntax error every time you want to run it. So that will become D. W S A D. And that's it. Hit file, save, close. Now, all you want to do is double click it. If you look down here, there it is. So now if I type, if I click on some uh, keys, um, here we go, let's close that two seconds. I move that across. So I'm pressing the up arrow now, left, down, and right arrow. And there you go. Now you can do it with any keys you want and it's entirely up to you. Now to stop it, all you have to do is head to it in the notifications, right click and exit. Now it's back to normal again. So you'd, you'd start it up, you click on there when you actually want to use it and you right click when you don't. So when the game starts before, the game, before you start your game, Click on there and uh, you can start. Now to make it even easier to find, this is the quick section, quick access section. So if we go into tweaks, we right click this. You could pin it to start, but I tend to pin it to the quick access. Now, where is it? Order hotkey, there you go. And that takes you straight there. You see I've pinned a few things here and there. Isn't that simple? Do you want to see one more? Now, and all, we're going to call this one Always on Top. So, we've called it Always on Top. Click away, then go right click, edit script. So, that, the up arrow there, is actually a control and space. So again, just like the other syntax, everything before these two, uh, the colons here, the two colons, is the keys you're pressing. You could make this anything you want it to be. Now this is the action. So basically the window is going to be always on top. I think that's probably always, maybe, I don't really know. The point being that this is the action. So that's the keys you're pressing, that's the action. And all we have to do once again is to save it. Close it, run it. Now, so if I click on these two windows, so we'll click on this one and it's control, what did I say it was going to be? I've already forgotten. Control and space. So I now, I click on there, control, space. If I click on here and now it stays behind. Now certainly with trains, and I'll show you in a second, this can be very useful. So let's go and have a look at our train, how trains works with it. So we've loaded up trains. Yeah, so what you're saying probably. Now trains has got a separate window. Now I'm okay, I've got two screens here. Actually I've got three screens running at the moment. But if you've only got one screen and you want to get to the content manager, content manager here, to actually maybe download some stuff, then 
how are you going to do it? Basically, you have to it always be behind. But if you click on here, control space. Oh, it's gone away because I've already pressed it already. Now, if I go back again, press on it, control space. Now I click here, it stays. There you go. So you can just keep it in a keep it nice and small in the corner somewhere. Well, you actually so you're editing a route, and then you've got it up in the corner. Then you just open it up when you want when you want it. That saves you doing you know the the Windows key to try and grab it and find it and just just one less action just makes it slightly easier. But uh, yes, I, I I hope you found that e if, uh, useful. I'll leave notes in the description on how to actually set this up. Um, I'll leave the the URL of the website. I'll leave the two scripts. Well, the uh, what you write in the scripts, you just copy and paste it then. And as long as you follow the guide, it's pretty easy to do. And to be honest, there's, there's a load of other scripts. If you Google or other search engine providers are actually, uh, where is it? Available, for instance, DuckDuckGo, which I use, you do autoscop scripts, auto hotkey scripts, and you find loads of them. And these are quite complex as well. Things which can be a calculator, things which can do, you can press a key and it turns your computer off. I know you've probably got that on your keyboard anyway, but the point is you can do it with this. Um, I won't go into now, I'll let you find those yourselves, but uh, it's a wonderful program, it really is. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you found it useful, please press the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, just let me know. Cheers guys, see you next time, bye -zy bye bye.